Hey, what's up everyone? Coming here after a long hiatus. Um, I'm gonna try and start shooting some videos more often. And today, the little project that I'm working on is making a battery charger. Now, I recently got this battery, which is part of an RFID reader made by Intertech, or Intermech, yeah, Intermech. And so this is battery A, B, 3, and man, so many batteries come with so many different chargers, and one thing that I'm pretty proud of doing is sort of solving some of these power adapter things on my own, and uh, one of the things that kind of helps me out with that is is getting my own power supply, and then you're able to, you know, get different voltages out of it, and that sort of thing. But the charger for this, I'm trying to find it on eBay, minimum probably about i think 60 bucks something like that for the for a charger and i'm not going to be using this that often all it is is a 3.7 volt um battery and so what i'm planning to do is use this little thing which is a battery charger that you can find on amazon or ebay they're pretty cheap there might be they might be like a dollar or two each and I use them to charge batteries like lipo batteries all the time so what I want to do is use this to charge it uh, the problem is that the charger for this you know you insert it and it goes down on some contacts and that sort of thing so I'm going to be using those contacts and then these male headers to uh, charge it all right, so as you can see here, these are the contacts for the battery. There is a battery plus, a battery minus, and this T here. And I believe what the T is relating to is the uh, temperature of the battery or something like that. So um, the plus and the minus is just uh, the input for the uh, ground and 3.7 volts and the T helps regulate the battery when it's charging uh, to let it know when to finish. Um, I believe that this board already has that sort of built in. Um, so we're just gonna try it. So what I did here um, was, I need to take this out, but if you look at the uh, bottom of the battery, it's got these very long contacts here for the plus and minus. That lines up just about with these male headers. So I'm planning to just kind of like, at least just test it down, hold it down and kind of just sort of do it like that. Now, what I probably should do is work on 3D printing some sort of uh, tube or something that this like slides down in. Um, but for, for right now, I'm just, uh, I'm just doing this sort of thing, so. Now I'm gonna need a couple more things and just to note what's on the bottom of this battery charger, I did solder a couple male headers on the corners. Uh, so on this side, I have the five volts from the micro USB cord. And then on this end, I have the 3.7 volt uh, going out um, to the battery. So I got two male to male jumper wires. I'm gonna go positive. To, let's see if I do it this way that'll be positive let's just keep it the same actually you know what this might be a little tricky because when I try and put the battery down like this then I get that wire in the way so what I'll do is I'll actually jump it to this side do that and then do it for the minus And then I'm gonna jump across this little gap with some tiny jumper wires. All right, so these are my tiny jumper wires. Got these from Amazon. And so they come in different assortment sizes, things like that. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of these. Okay, so I'm gonna do something like that. Boom, but that should work. All right, now let's do a continuity test. 
All right, so I got my Radio Shack multimeter. We're gonna do some continuity tests. Gonna go from ground to these headers. Each of them work, and then our plus 3.7 volts. So we are good along all of those. Okay. Um, so it lights up blue when it is charged, but if you can see here, there's like a little red blinking light. That basically means that you don't have a battery connected. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of line this up and just kind of see what happens to these lights. I'm expecting that that blue light will turn off and then that red light will sort of turn solid. Let's see. See that? So I'm not holding it the best, like, cause I'm just kind of doing this by hand, but it kind of works. So I kind of have to hold it in a weird way right there. Right, right about there. So definitely not the ideal situation. Um, so what I might do is solder a little bit of tiny solder, just like in the corner or something, and then run a couple wires out and I can desolder it later just to test it out. All right, so instead of going this route, uh, just for today, I'll, I'll make an improvement charger for this later, but I just wanna see if this battery works in the first place. I'm going to uh, solder um, this connector. It's a JST two millimeter pitch female header uh, to uh, this, these connections right there. And then that will plug into my already existing mail connector right here. Um, that, and I use this for other batteries. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, put a little dab on each. Then go in with the plus. Okay, that one's good. Go in the minus. Boom. All right. Um, so when I'm done char charging this battery, I will clean that up. All right, so now what we expect to see is kind of what we saw before last time with that uh, LED. The blue LED should turn off and that one should turn on, which is red. When I connect these wires, here we go. Boom, red, no blue. So that's kind of, you know, down and dirty. That's a quick way to charge my battery. It's uh, not ideal. The reason this is kind of working right now is that this is meant to charge a 3.7 volt battery, and that's exactly what this is. We can see right here that this is a 3.7 volt battery, 2.4 amp hours, uh, so that's, that's some pretty good beefiness. And yeah, uh, we're gonna let this sit and see how long it takes to charge. Uh, right now it is 6 p.m. Um, so I'm gonna keep an eye on this, see how long it takes to charge. And uh, the good thing about this charger, so you know, one thing that we could do is instead of using this, we could just technically hook it up to my power supply, which I could output 3.7 volts. But the thing with that is you don't get any protection. So uh, this battery charging circuit uh, gives you protection and when this battery reaches, I think if it's 4.2 volts or something like that, it'll cut off the charging uh, circuit. 
So you get some protection there. Um, usually batteries that are 3.7 will go up to 4.2 without being uh, kicked off. So I will uh, wait until this thing charges and then we'll try it out. All right, so it took about just about four hours to charge. And we can see we've got this blue light here. I got my multimeter. We're going to take the voltage afterwards, you know, after it's uh, been charged. So as you can see right here, it's currently outputting 4.2 volts, okay? So now I'm gonna take my soldering iron and desolder these leads. Now let's check the voltage on this battery. Four point two. All right. Now I'm going to get some uh, wire braid and clean up that solder. All right, so if you don't know about this wire braid, it can be used to wick up solder. So it's called solder wick. So we're gonna put that on the contacts and then use our soldering iron to wick up some of that solder. Okay, that's probably good enough for that one. Okay, maybe a little more. All right, that should be good enough. You can still see the solder there, but I'm not gonna get everything, but it is flat. So you can see right there, it'll still work. All right, this is the RFID gun. So battery goes in there. And as you can see, it's lighting up and turning on. Good stuff. So I will do something similar to this battery. This is the battery that goes in the computer unit. Um, so I'll do something similar, but yeah, there we go. All right, thanks for watching this video. Uh, so it's a little DIY battery charger. I did verify on eBay. It's actually only $40 for the charger right now. Uh, they got some used ones for 40 bucks, so not 60, but as you can see what I just did, I mean, that was basically free just using some parts that I already had. Um, and you can use those battery chargers for just about any 3.7 volt battery system. And a lot of your batteries in these electronics use 3.7 volts. It's very common. Um, so I got my RFID reader uh, almost ready to go. I gotta charge the computer battery, but boom, good to go. So, not gonna be buying um, one of the $40 chargers. I will find a way to make this more permanent. What I'm thinking about doing is actually having a couple little wires come out, and then I can just leave the battery in, and then, um, have some sort of plug like that um, coming out. So we'll see. I'll see if I can 
do that relatively easily so I don't have to have a big charger around. I don't, and I also don't want to buy a charger. So thanks for uh, tuning in. We'll catch you in the next one.